there welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by and if you're here for the first time please consider subscribing and turning on your notifications as i have new uploads every week now today i'll be showing you how to make this tasty delicious beef stew and without wasting any time let's get started So before I show you the rest of the spices, we'll start by cooking our meat until it's very very soft. I went ahead to add some salt to it and a beef cube which is completely optional and the point of just adding the salt is to build the flavor as you continue to cook so you don't have the, a tasteless meat and a tasty stew. Now the other ingredients that I'll be using a teaspoon each that is black pepper, paprika, cumin and coriander powder. I also have a teaspoon of garlic and ginger, green bell peppers, coriander, tomato that I've already pureed, you can use whole tomatoes as well and some onions. So once your meat is done and completely soft, go ahead to add in some oil, then fry it a little followed by some onions and fry them until they're translucent. Once that is done, go ahead to add in your garlic and ginger and fry them as well. Once that is done, I went ahead to add the spices and this is just to help the meat soak in that beautiful flavor and also just frying the spices uh, for a minute, it helps release that beautiful flavor from them. So add your spices first before putting in your tomatoes or green bell peppers. So once that is done, go ahead to add your green bell peppers. But if you're using whole tomatoes, you can add your tomatoes and let them cook until they're completely broken down. But since I'm using pureed tomatoes, I'm just going to add my green bell peppers and my pureed tomatoes because it cooks pretty fast. I then went ahead to add in my veggies, that is the carrots and the potatoes and added a little bit of water to it as well to simmer the potatoes and the beef together and let the potatoes cook really well.
and once your potatoes are cooked and soft then your beef is ready and also this is the consistency that i like for my beef stew i do not like it very runny so that is that also goes with preference So once that is done, uh, go ahead to add in your coriander and cook them for about 20 seconds and your beef is ready to serve. And there you have your beef it was absolutely delicious you can have this over some chapati rice or ugali and this is a recipe that you definitely have to try i hope you did enjoy it and if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well i will see you on my next one till next time bye bye